What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a cartoon illustration of Lionel Messi. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. Starting from the very top, I'm just gonna slowly work our way down towards the bottom and then back up towards the top. Now I'm gonna leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So let's line up the top, come all the way down towards the same height and then bring that back up towards the top. Now I want to add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, draw that circle coming in and then back out. Let's line that up on the right side. Now I'm going to go in and fill the bottom of the eyes in black going around that highlight. Now from here, let's move to the center and draw the bottom edge of the nose. Let's start over on the left. Let me curve the nose coming down, and then bend that up. Now let's step up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. From the center of the nose, let's step down and add the mouth. Starting on the left, curve down, and then up. And then in the center, we'll step down, draw a short curve for the lower lip. Now from here, I'm gonna go back up to the top and draw on the eyebrows. Let's start from the outside, curve this up and down on the inside. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. Let's go back to the inside of the eyebrow, draw a short line going up toward the top. Now I just wanna taper the eyebrow so it's thinner and come down towards a point. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now I'm going to go back to the corners of the mouth and draw the beard coming around and then up underneath the lip. Let's start on the left. Come all the way around and just tuck that up underneath. And do the same thing on the right. Now from the outside of the eyes, we're going to step out, draw the edge of the beard. We're come down and then in. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now from the edge of the beard, we're going to curve this up and then in towards the side of the nose. Let's go back to the side of the head, draw the jaw, coming down, and then we'll just bend that in, do the same thing on the right, coming all the way around, and then in. Now you want to layer the beard coming down towards the center. Starting on the left, we'll step up, curve down, and then in. Same thing on the right. Now I'm going to layer the center of the beard on top. And step back up, curve down the middle, across, and then back up on the right. Let's go back to the side of the head, go straight up, and bend that in around the eyebrow. Go up, and then bend that in. Now from these two points, let's move to the center of the head, curve this up and out towards the right. Go back to the center, I'm just going to add a curl going around and then down. Let's taper that back up and in. And then from the left side, we're just going to tuck this in behind that curl. Now you want to sweep the hair over towards the left side. Start from this point, curve this out and down, go up and then bend that in. Let's add another layer. Stepping out, go out and down, and curl this up toward the top, and bend that in toward the center of the head. Let's add another layer, stepping over, up toward the top, and then down. Now step up, curve around, and then in toward the top right corner. Now on the side of the head, we're going to add in the ears. Let's start over on the left. Bend this up, come 
down and then bend that in. So we'll add a fold across the top of the ear with a curve. Now let's close off the side of the head. Starting underneath this curl, come down, just bend that in towards the top of the ear. Let's go all the way over towards the right, go all the way around, come down, and then in. Now with the head in place, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start over on the left side, underneath the beard, curve this out, and then down towards the hip. Move over towards the right, and do the same thing. Let's connect the hips with a curve. Come down the middle, and then up. Now you want to add the number 10 in the center of the body. Let's start with the one on the left. Draw two straight lines coming down side by side. Let's close off the top and the bottom. Let's move over towards the right. Draw an oval all the way down and back up. And then we'll trace that along the inside. Let's add a thick stripe coming down the center of the body. Starting on top of the one, come down on top, continue along the bottom, go over towards the right, come down on top of the zero, go in between, and all the way down. Now you move over and draw another line on either side. Let's go to the center of the body, step down to add a curve, point up and then down. Now you want to leave a small gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the leg, going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot, coming down and then up on the outside. Let's go back to the left, we're gonna draw the top of the foot. We go up, bend that down, aiming towards the heel, wanna leave a gap on the inside. Now we're gonna go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left, bend this out, and then down on the outside of the foot. Now we're gonna go back to the inside, curve this up and in towards the inside of the leg, and we'll add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. Taking this curve, we'll step up and just trace that across. Now from the top of the foot, let's step up, add a curve for the sock, line that up on the right, and step up and draw another curve. And I'll leave a larger gap and draw one more on the bottom edge of the shorts. Let's add a thin stripe on the side of the shorts. And I'll add the number 10 on the right side. Let's start with those two angled lines coming down. Close off the top and bottom. Then move over, draw that oval, zero, and then trace that along the inside. Now let's go back up to the top and draw on the arms. We're gonna start halfway between the top and bottom of the body. Curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. And then line that up on the right. From the wrist, we're gonna draw a small half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now you wanna add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb. We're gonna come down and then up around that bracket. Step down, go out, then up. And then the third finger, we're gonna go out, bend the arm, go up and in underneath the head. Now let's separate the sleeve. Starting halfway along the inside of the arm, curve this up and bend that out. Let's add a thin trim on the left side. So we'll step up, trace that across. Then I'm gonna add that large armband on the right. So we'll step up towards the top, follow that same curve. Now we're gonna add one more stripe on the outside of the arm. And we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Lionel Messi. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you're a big football fan, you want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.